Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Just five failed asylum seekers have been sent to Rwanda as Sir Keir Starmer gears up to axe the scheme. They are likely to be the only migrants to depart from the country under the policy, at a cost to the taxpayer of £74 million a head. Labour has vowed to scrap the plan, on day one, if it wins today. Our channel previously revealed two people had taken up an offer of £3,000 to fly on commercial flights in a voluntary departure scheme. And now a further three have taken the same route to the East African country. While their departure comes under the Rwanda plan, it is distinct from the deportation of small boat migrants which failed to get off the ground. In March, the Home Office revealed the voluntary route was for anyone without a right to be in Britain with hostels set up for deported asylum seekers in Rwanda. More than 13,000 people have now arrived in overcrowded boats since January. The plan to relocate people has cost at least £370 million, the National Audit Office says. We revealed the plan was ready to go in April but it has been blighted by legal challenges and court orders. It was thwarted by the House of Lords before Rishi Sunak finally got the safety of Rwanda bill through in April. But court documents show the earliest date small boat migrants can be deported is July 24, if Mr. Sunak wins. Sir Keir has argued that scrapping the Rwanda scheme will free up £75 million to smash the gangs facilitating small boat crossings. When the first migrant was flown to Rwanda in April, the Home Office said, this deal allows people with no immigration status to be relocated to a safe third country.